Motion capture is the process of filming human motion and converting it into computer animation. We place an array of retroreflective markers at all the strategic bone and joint locations on the human body, and then we film the action in 360 degrees using between 50 and 100 high-speed cameras. That two-dimensional data is then fed into a computer system which triangulates the data and produces three-dimensional computer animation. We work with the Electronic Arts game teams for several weeks. First in pre-production, we scout actors, we work on the script, we build props and sets, and prepare for the shoot. The shoot itself is usually between one and ten days, depending on the volume of animation that the game team requires. In post-production, we then spend several more days cleaning up the data and applying it to the actual game characters that you see in the games. In the future at EA and in motion capture, you will continue to see higher and higher levels of accuracy and realism in our motion due to the motion capture technology and the power of the upcoming game console. On July 31, 1964, the U.S. space probe Ranger 7 transmitted pictures of the moon's surface for the first time. Intentionally sent to crash directly into the moon's surface, it was able to take 4,300 photographs during its final 17 minutes of flight. You know, we all know the video game industry is a billion dollar industry. Most of that's centered around profits and fun. But America's Army, or the Army Game Project, is a freeware, tactical, multiplayer, first-person shooter game owned by the United States government. It was created as a global PR initiative to help with U.S. Army recruitment. And with 8 million registered users and 17 million downloads, it's been very successful. It's the first game that made recruitment its explicit goal, and the first well-known use of computer gaming for political aim. Gamers should also realize that America's Army was originally designed to test military aptitude, and that your online gaming data is being collected. Big Brother and Uncle Sam are definitely watching. And so are some Islamic fundamentalists. They've taken the video game as propaganda idea, adapted it, and created their own game where the U.S. is the enemy. Hopefully, one day we'll all just learn to play nice together. Music